Welcome back, guys. Hopefully, you guys, you guys are checking out. Consider donating to these awesome players. Meanwhile, we've got something special lined up for you because after these games, we're going to be doing an hour's worth, or at least an hour's worth, of arcade games with the audience. So we're going to put up a poll uh, in chat now. Start voting on what games you'd like to play with us, and if there's enough players to play those games. We'll go ahead and do that, or, you know, we'll adjust things based on the amount of players we have willing. Please follow the instructions by Felipe, our chat mod, in order to get into these games. Speaking of getting into these games, Camaro, you want to introduce the first player? All right, I do. In the top left, it is tied 2-2. Let's see what he's got left up his sleeve. It is classic. And his opponent, adapting to everything classic and throw at him behind it's the infamous blue terran Rium. and you really hung on to that g yeah yeah i like g's man hung G -G. on to the Ryung g hung <laughs> young it rhymes you see i'm really funny guys don't worry yeah yeah uh, we both got up plenty of sleep before this event man i promise cross my fingers don't worry guys i only had two monsters before the event don't worry, guys. My chair is squeaking every time I move. If you're wondering why I cast with push to talk, there you go. But anyway, uh huh. So far, we see basically the same thing out of classic. It's the Stargate opening. It's probably going to be either Oracles or Phoenix. Mm -hmm. Probably Oracles at this point. I really don't think that's in doubt anymore. You think Ryung's taking Maybe? a leaf out of classic's book? Um, no, I think the starport's just going to lift off and fly home, to be honest. I think this was a mistake. I think Rim will realize, oh, crap, my starport's over here. Darn. Yeah. Or maybe he he's just... He clicked the mini-map instead of his base. I get it. I do that all. No, you know what happened? I just realized. Uh -huh. He thought he was playing Protoss, and he saw a star, and he's like, oh, it's a Stargate. And he's oh. proxy oracling, but... Uh, it, see, he's making it work. He's making it work. It is a starport, unfortunately, so... Mm -hmm. Looks like you will make it work. All right. So, yeah, Cloaked Banshee, probably the order of the day. Maybe Ravens, we'll see. I, I think Banshee probably just has more uh, proxy upside, potential. more potential. Yeah, potential. Yeah, for a proxy especially. There it is. Banshee with the Cloak. And back at home, he's got a fairly standard opener. What would Classic need to do in order to scout this to know what's up, other than, you know, just obviously going to the bottom left corner for no damn reason? I mean... The one sign is that there's double gas and there's literally no factory or yeah factory units on the map. Like mm -hmm. his gas is going somewhere. Like he's got only marines, so mm -hmm. there's no starport. Hmm. This is where this is where the thoughts all come together. It's like that one Sherlock Holmes intro where like he's drawing on the board and it's mm -hmm. like where's his gas? It's elementary, my dear Watson. Uh, I thought I'd be Sherlock. Uh, no, you're Watson, my friend. My Fair enough. little friend. Anyway. So we've, got a, we've got a bunker coming now for, like, is he expecting to be attacked, or is he, like, is, is that, like, the expected retaliation after the band up? Like, he just expects Classic to push out and he has to hold a ground force? Well, this is actually a kind of nice adjustment for Classic. You notice mm -hmm. instead of getting those oracles, he's kind of a little suspicious, and he's gone for some Phoenix instead. Yeah, that's better. a lot better scouting short term. Yeah, so the other advantage, though, is that Ryung is probably expecting some adept push to come along. You see, he's got this bunker, he's got this mine in place, and he's mm -hmm. figuring if Classic tries to counterattack with all the adepts he has that don't shoot up, he can hold it. But Classic's plan for shooting up is also flying, which means it's just kind of shooting horizontally. Yeah, man. Um... So adept glaives are in production, and so we've got some more gateways coming. Fourth one about to be started, fifth one about to be started. So at this point, we've got kind of like a Phoenix in the gateway force, and that wouldn't mind doing a lot of damage to that Phoenix. But the Banshee's showing up, Cam. The Banshees are here. Yeah, getting some free kills here. Really nice, actually. I don't actually know if there's. Yeah, there is the revelation, obviously, but again, as soon as the revelation goes off, the Banshee is dead, and so it tries to hit a pylon and fails. Did he um, even have to reveal? Doesn't the orc reveal itself? Well, that's what he did. He revealed it with the Oracle, and so he dropped it just oh. in case it somehow lived. But it didn't. Gotcha. Um, I admit, I am I am doing my best to analyze a lot of these players' decision-making. 
And I'm kind of confused on what Ryung has done here. He's lifted his starport off of the tech lab, moved it to mm -hmm. the right about halfway between bases, and then built a reactor. So I'm guessing just because it's closer to his base, so he'll get rallies a little bit faster. I'm not entirely sure, but... That's hey. interesting. He is going for the medevac, so maybe he's going to try and uh, launch some unorthodox troops from a different angle. I have no idea. He's an interesting player. That's for damn sure about Ryung. Yeah, but the one problem is, like, he's never going to be able to drop this. This is officially at it, Phoenix. We are officially doing this build, guys. Which means there's really no way to pressure. You see there's Phoenix is patrolling outside both of mm -hmm. these bases. If you try to drop here, like, all your drop is going to do is get killed by Phoenixes. Phoenixes? I think that's technically the correct term, but... Eni? No, that'd be, that'd be Roman. I think Phoenix... Anyway, more importantly... Like... <laughs> I mean, Ryung is doing kind of what the correct play is against Adam Phoenix, and as he mm -hmm. says that, he's doing what I think is not the correct play versus Adam Phoenix. It looks like he might be trying for a push, which maybe he's just leaving his army in a very forward position, but the problem mm -hmm. is if you go for a push against Adam Phoenix, like, how many mines are here? There's six mines here. If they all get lifted by this high Phoenix count, like, and now there's revelation on them, so it's not like even the Burrow's going to save them. Like, if they get lifted, this fight just goes bad for Ryung. Well, Shades do try to, uh, very careful not to come through all the way with those destructible rocks, but does drop a lot of the Widow Mines. Revelation going off on the Widow Mines. Gonna try and get the Phoenix in there to punish the Medivacs, but each player very careful not to push too deeply in. Classic gonna try and sandwich his army between the Gorilla Depths and the Shades trying to get those pre-split and he is thinking about it he does go for a great concave there on the marauders and the phoenix coming in to kill off most of those medevacs is doing a great job but it looks like it's just not camera young having way more stuff here than classic you see classic's army supply is plummeting he is about two-thirds of young total army supply not quite out of the game yet but young definitely with secure advantage here yeah i mean you basically saw exactly what I was kind of trying to warn her young about, where, like, you know, the mines get lifted and then you kind of lose the fight. But he did a good job. He killed a good number of the Phoenix and still got a couple of good mine hits off, and that kind of turned the fight in his favor. And even now, catching out this little surprise counterattack Classic was going for, Ryung's really tightened up his play a lot. Yeah, that Warp Prism could have been a huge damage dealer, but just not doing anything at all. Warp Prism, another one being started in production here, but we've got Liberators on the field and in production for Ryung. I think Liberator's definitely where he wants to go with this uh, heavy gateway style that we're seeing out. Yeah, I mean, there's the other problem is with Adam Phoenix is you really delayed your Blink. As you see, Blink just now started, which means, mm -hmm. like, there's no real counter to Liberator's if you don't have Blink. And so Ryung's just going to kind of push in through these rocks, even setting up the Liberator's on top of them. And, like, yeah. the only way to deal with this is the Phoenixes. They're the only unit that shoots up and... You guys have to lose all your adams to shoot those. Yeah, he's got six phoenixes on the field. Does man check out? Like, uh, yeah, so close. Oh, that one does fall. Second one, third one now falling as well. We are dead. But classic again, just bleeding a lot of his ground armor. There's a lot of marauders here. More marine coming in. More adepts coming in as well. Camo, this looks like the army is swinging into uh, Ryung's favor here. The tides of four are marching in classic space. Yeah, now we just see Ryun is just marching in here. There's just kind of overwhelmed his opponent. There might just be too much tear in here. And even if Ryun, or even if Classic manages to clean this up, which he's not even going to try, mm -hmm. like there's just too much stuff. I, take... Yeah, Ryun takes game five. I'm sorry to cut you off, but I'm just Yeah. That was just a perfect game from Ryun on some fronts. Like Nothing went perfect, but really true perfection uh -huh. is when things aren't going perfectly, still making it work. Yeah. It's still making it look like everything worked perfectly. Someone in chat says adopt Phoenix OP, am I right? I don't know. Cam, is he right? Uh, apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, the issue is just that although Adept Phoenix could work there, like you saw... Really, one of the reasons we started seeing this style not necessarily used as much is, again, the meta is always shifting. Players are always adapting, which means that, like, Terran players have kind of started to learn that if you focus down enough of the Phoenixes, you can still get good enough Widowmind shots off. And that's basically what just happened. And 
Classic was never quite able to stabilize, and because of the late blink timing, like, great job taking advantage of that with the Liberators. Dude, these games are so epic. Ryung's only one game away from victory. If you want your last chance to support either of these players, this might be it. There might be another game. Who knows? Can't be sure. Go to Match Arena right now. Donate as much as you can or as little as you can. It does not matter. Every little bit counts. I'm sure these players appreciate it no matter what. Thanks so much, guys, for watching us. Thanks so much for joining us. Tell your friends they might be missing the last of this best of seven, so they better tune in now. Guys, I am Shaft with Polygon Gaming. My co-caster tonight is Camarill. Our observer is Apogee. Our admin is Angela. And we've got so much more staff, I can't even name them all. But thank you to each and every one for making this possible. We're going to a commercial break. We'll be right back. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.